All right, folks, let's go ahead and get started. The color of the sun hasn't changed, so what does that mean? What else hasn't changed? Temperature, exactly. At the University of Texas, Austin, Professor Don Winget works on an impossible task to cram the entire universe into the brain of a freshman. There's a lot of vocabulary, but we try to make it as, as transparent as we can. And so you might catch us using some jargon, but you just say, hey, no, stop, wait a minute. During the complicated lecture, some students may wind up with their head in the clouds. But for those who act really spacey, Don takes them out of class, way, way out of class. This is a great place not only to do science, but to come and reflect on the universe. It's a very spiritual place. There's no mistaking these gleaming white domes perched high atop the Davis Mountains. This is the one and only McDonald Observatory. One of the things that sets us apart from other observatories is the fact that we allow our students to use the telescopes. Astronomers from all over the world come here, 440 miles west of Austin, to do some of the most advanced research in the field today. The reason I came here is because the best observers on the planet were here. You know before anybody else knows what's new, what's exciting, what's happening, what's at the frontier, and you know if you're working with these guys, you're working with the best people on the planet. The University of Texas opened this observatory in 1939 after banker William McDonald left his fortune for that very purpose. What started as a single telescope dome has grown into a science and tourism complex three large domes plus a visitor center all support the mission of sharing our universe with the public. All of us have paid for all of this. As citizens of the United States or citizens of the state of Texas, we've paid for everything that's there. So we feel obligated to share that, the excitement, the knowledge, the adventure. This is the original telescope of McDonald Observatory. Wow. It was the built. Two inch. This yes. is the 82 inch or 2.1 meter if you're into metric. Give Tom the chance and he'll proudly show off McDonald Observatory as if he had built it himself. The instrument's actually a CCD camera right there on the end of the telescope. This technology was invented for Monday Night Football. So we're going to turn on the controller box, which runs the camera, and uh, listen. And that's a happy sound. That's like when you turn your computer on and you hear the fan working. So Bob, that mirror that you're looking at is curved. It's configured in, in sort of a parabola so that all the light that comes in is reflected off of that front surface, not like a bathroom mirror, and reflected to that one spot we call prime focus where we have positioned the CCD camera and collect all the light that falls into the telescope. Is that cool or what? The mountains of West Texas are the perfect place for an observatory. Out here, the telescopes are far away from two of astronomy's biggest enemies, rain clouds, and most importantly, light. This is the darkest observing site in the continental United States still. Even though there's a lot more light than there used to be, it's still dark. So if you look at from a satellite map at night, uh, you can pick out McDonald Observatory. And as that precious darkness creeps in, an entire mountain anticipates a starry sky. Down below, vacationers crowd the visitor center lawn for an event known as a star party. And inside the dome, on top of the mountain, it's time to help Don prepare for a hard night's work. I don't know if you have a bucket list, but I do, and tonight I get to accomplish one of mine. I'm gonna open the dome slit of the 82-inch telescope at the McDonald Observatory. During a star party, staff, volunteers, and students share their love of astronomy with the public. Attend one and you'll not only see more stars than you ever have before, but you just might be transformed 
you get what we call the involuntary wow. You see somebody look for the first time at a planet or uh, a galaxy or something, and it's not a picture. It's real, and you're seeing it. And you, you watch, and they'll say, wow. This is a transformational experience, life-changing experience. To the left, you see three points of light. Meanwhile, the 82-inch Otto Struve telescope is hard at work feeding data to a man exploring the galaxy. I feel like the captain of a ship flying through the universe because our Earth is spinning around so fast. And uh, you really have the sense that you are flying through the universe, because we are. Sitting in his captain's chair, surrounded by a flood of data, Don Winget is using the darkness to shed light on our universe. These long, lonely nights are exactly what pulls him in, waiting for that one moment that changes everything. We live for those moments when I saw this, I knew something, and JJ was watching remotely from, from Austin. Together, we knew something about the universe that no human being who'd ever lived ever before ever knew. And that's a powerful feeling. That's the sort of experience that we share when somebody goes to West Texas. They go to McDonald Observatory, they get a sense of what that's like. A sense of that adventure, the great adventure of the human mind. But make sure when you go that you go to a star party and you get to see that the stars at night really are big and bright deep in the heart of Texas.